Okay, this is a scenario uh, where uh, IP and IP encapsulation could be used. So, uh, we talked about in class about private IP addresses, right? And I said private IP addresses are not publicly routable, which means if I want to send a packet to a machine which has a private IP address, uh, and I want to send it through the internet, I cannot send it because I said routers don't know how to forward a private IP address, right? So let's say we have um, two private networks. This is having a private IP address space with all these machines in this network have a, having a private IP address. And uh, all the machines in this network also having a private IP address. So I want to send a packet from this machine with this private IP address to uh, this machine with this private IP address. Okay, so if I want to send it directly uh, to this private IP address with this as the destination IP address, I, the routers in the internet won't know how to forward it. So the strategy is uh, each private uh, network should have a gateway router that has a public IP address facing the internet. So this is the public IP address of this gateway router facing the internet and uh, this is the public IP address of this uh, gateway router for this private network facing the internet. So what happens is when this host with this private IP address wants to send a packet to this host with this private IP address, it um, sends the datagram to uh, this router. So now it appears that the routers will first uh, have uh, like um, have to kind of encapsulate this inside another IP header and make it appear to the internet as if these two routers are communicating. So this router encapsulates the whole, which means hides or abstracts the whole uh, uh, IP datagram inside another IP header that has this public IP addresses of these two gateway routers. So for the routers forwarding in the internet, it appears as if the packet is going from this IP address, from this gateway router to this gateway router. Okay. So for security purposes, you could even encrypt the whole um, uh, encapsulated IP datagram so that the routers forwarding uh, this datagram in the internet doesn't get to even see what is inside. So once it uh, once this datagram reaches this um, gateway router, then this gateway router can remove this IP header and then uh, decrypt this inner IP uh, datagram and forward to the actual destination. So the whole idea is we are kind of encapsulating one IP header uh, or IP datagram as such inside another public IP header, in, uh, inside another IP header and this, uh, the outer IP header has a public IP address so that the routers in the internet can forward it. So that's why since we are encapsulating one IP header inside another IP header, it's called IP in IP encapsulation. And the whole thing appears as a tunnel uh, that um, whatever is sent from here does make it to the destination uh, as if they're directly connected in one network, right? Because I just send it and it goes to this receiver with, uh, without going through, without the users or the machines um, that has its private IP addresses getting to know that all this tunneling happens, all this IP, IP encapsulation, or they are not aware of all these things that they're from an end host or end user point of view. So that's why uh, since it gives a kind of virtual uh, feeling for them that they are in one single network, uh, the whole idea of uh, using this IP and IP encapsulation provides you uh, a concept of this virtual private network or VPN. So if you have if you have uh, two sites that operate with private IP address space, uh, geographically separated, and, so, uh, and uh, we have this public internet uh, in between them, we can still make them to appear uh, to be in one single network by using this VPN concept or that involves this IP and IP encapsulation concept. So that's why even like when you want to connect from remotely to a Jackson State server or network, um, we uh, recommend using VPN because once you get authenticated with your username and password, uh, the VPN client running at your uh, laptop sets up uh, this IP and IP encapsulation kind of tunnel with the gateway router in Jackson State network. So all your transmission from your um, laptop or uh, the remote uh, computer the Jackson State server goes through this uh, encrypted, uh, encapsulated uh, process so that it is secure, nobody can see whatever information is and nobody can even do any denial of service or man-in-the-middle attacks or all the security issues which you'll see in the network security chapter.
okay so it goes through this and I think uh, I reviewed it uh, in chapter 23 as well as in chapter 21 when we went through all this private IP address in detail so now that I have put it in this chapter you should also be prepared for uh, questions on this uh, IP and IP encapsulation from this chapter okay